Now let us continue our previous lesson. Imagine you're a farmer, you're working in your field, and you need to dig a hole to plant a tree. What would you use? A pickmatic would be perfect. It's like a super tool that can do two things. In digging, the pointed end can break up hard soil and dig deep holes. In smoothing, the flat end can level the ground and loosen soil around your plants. It's a handy tool for farmers and gardeners because it can help you with many different tasks. Next is the grab hoe. Grab hoe was used for breaking hard topsoil and pulverizing soil. All right, let's start with the grub hoe. The long end on that thing. This is for serious earth moving. It's got a really heavy head, so it allows you to actually dig with it. I've used this thing to plant transplants and uh, even to dig ponds and shape edges. This is serious. Here in Florida sand, it moves a lot of earth really rapidly. But if you were further north, like where I used to live in Tennessee, where there's a lot of clay and rock, you would have to work a lot harder at doing this. But still, this would be the tool you would want. It's very thick, it's very strong, and it moves a lot of earth. It does some serious damage. You can basically till the ground with this thing like you would with a rototiller. Excellent tool. Next in our list is a spade. Imagine a spade as a farmer's trusty sidekick. It's a tool that helps plants grow healthy and strong. Think of the ground as a big, fluffy blanket. When it's all bunched up and tight, the plants can't breathe. That's where the spade comes in. It helps to fluff up the ground, making it soft and airy. This allows the plants to breathe and grow taller. The spade is also like a gardener's shovel. It can dig holes for seeds to plant, and it can help pull up weeds that are stealing the plant's food and water. So, the next time you see a farmer with a spade, remember it's a tool that's helping the plants grow and thrive. It's like a magic wand for the garden. Now, imagine you're in a garden. You want to plant a new flower. What do you need to dig a hole for it? That's right, you need a shovel. It's a tool with a long handle and a flat, scoop-shaped blade. You can use it to dig, lift, or move things like dirt, sand, or even snow. Ever seen someone shoveling snow off a sidewalk in winter? That's a great example of how a shovel can be really helpful. Then, the spading fork. It is used for loosening soil, digging out root crops, and turning over the materials in a compost heap. Then, when you are going to cut weeds, bamboo poles, and pegs for construction and trellis, you might be going to use bolo or attack. Now we have pruning shear. It is used for cutting branches of planting materials and unnecessary branches of plants. Then axe. It is used for cutting trunks or branches of trees and bigger posts. Next are knives. Knives are used for cutting planting materials, harvesting, and performing other farm activities. Then scythe. It is used for harvesting rice and for cutting grasses for animal feeds. Next is hand trowel. Hand trowel is used for cultivating soil around the plants and setting small amounts of manure and compost in the soil. 